Hi, I'm Graham. Welcome back to Man vs. Film. And unfortunately, we have gotten to the end of the Sam Fuller at Columbia box set from Powerhouse Indicator Films. The last movie in this one is Underworld USA. Um, again, another one that I've not really heard too much of. And I was really looking forward to getting stuck into. This is definitely uh, Sam Fuller hitting his stride now. We've seen through all seven of these movies, which have all been pretty decent, pretty good. Some of them exceptional, like the Crimson Kimono, the last one. And this time, we are into a story of Tolly, uh, a young boy who doesn't have a mother, whose father is uh, has everything, who we never really meet. And at the start of his movie, uh, his father is brutally beaten to death, almost in front of his eyes. He There is... Um, Four people that do this, he knows who one of them is, uh, and he decides to get retribution. But, unfortunately, before he gets a chance to get that, this guy, Vic, is locked up in prison. And what we have is a shortcut, um, a few years, as we primarily see over a couple of scenes, how Tolly decides to get himself put into prison so that he can get close to this guy, Vic. It's a really nice idea, as this tale of revenge consumes everything about Tolly. He has this mother-like figure, uh, someone at the start who's kind of there for him, and, and when he eventually gets out of jail, after uh, playing the long game and getting the information of the four other men who murdered his father, sets out um, to pretty much take these guys down. Turns out these are three of the bigger players in the, the crime world, and he is going to try and instigate himself into that environment so that he can get his long-awaited revenge. You know, it's been 20 years since his father was murdered as we, as we joined Cliff Robertson as Tolly and how he has revenge tale begins to take place and, and set up. And it's a marvellous tale. The movie is just over 100 minutes and it zips along. It has the usual staples from Fuller, the quick direction, the odd choice of editing that just is so fitting. It has that, that, that mother figure that seems to be there to um, give some worldly advice to our, our protagonist. And we have a clear anti-hero here, someone who is looking to do something extremely uh, dastardly but only against these three men. And he does it in a way that it never muddies his soul, so to speak. You know, he never really physically does the deed to these guys, but he turns and twists and set things up that put them in a path that is only going to end with them six feet under. The movie looks terrific. Cliff Robertson gives a fantastic performance as Tolly in this, the man who has spent the majority of his life consumed by rage and revenge, something that he's ultimately after. And this movie just played out expertly well. Everything about it, the way it's, it's shot, there is certain scenes, one right at the start, where Tolly is looking to break into a safe inside a closet and there is a scene playing outside the door and the door to the closet is opened at one point but he's concealed and we have the look of Tolly in there and then we have uh, the scene that's playing out in the outside room uh, with a couple of characters as well and it's just really well shot you know you have the, the sort of bright outside the uh, scene and you have the dark inside that is totally just worries that he's about to get caught before his plan even has a chance to take fruition we have characters in here who are all at the end of their rope there, there is Driscoll um, a police investigator who just can't seem to take these guys down. Nobody's going to talk, nobody's going to help him. And he, along with Tolly, decide to do... Well, they, they blur the lines. Blur is probably a nice way of putting it. They, they do break some things that they shouldn't do to get these people off the street to stop their reign of terror. And it's just... It's one of these movies that I, I could have put on again as soon as it finished. It's just entertaining with terrific performances, some really nice choice of direction in here as well. Um, lots of extreme close-ups that really let you this sort of linger on what's happening with the scene, with the reaction shots that's, that's right there. And it's a tale that 
everything's perfect about it. Everything's fitting. There is more than one meaning to certain scenes, the thematics behind it, how this tale of revenge is ultimately a self-destructive motivation. And there's no way to break free from that kind of rage that you have built up over your, your lifetime. I mean, this, this guy ultimately ruins his life uh, taking a path to be put in jail to get close to somebody to to get the revenge wow what a movie